I don't really know what I want to make in this crochet block. All I know is I want to make something with long sleeves. So here I am starting off the project with the ribbing. It's not really done yet. I still need a little bit more. Uh, I know this is not as large or as wide as the usual ribbings, but that's what I don't like about hoodies and sweaters that I have. I feel like the ribbing is way too long or too wide. I don't know how to... Yeah, it's just not right in my really small waist. Wrist, not waist. So yeah, I really want to make it uh, shorter and... You know what I mean, right? I don't want it to be that wide. I want it to be small. Yeah, that's way too detailed just for the ribbing. But um, I'm not going to give like the usual tutorial video up in the screen because I don't really know what to make yet. Uh, for now, I'm just going to start off with the sleeves because I know I want to make long sleeves. And then I'm going to work on the front panel and back panel later. And I don't think I'm going to follow any tutorial for this video. At least not right now. I'm just going to like express myself in this beautiful cardigan. If I'm making a cardigan, I might make a sweater as well. I don't really know yet. So yeah. Hopefully it'll turn out well. And I only have four rolls of yarn for this color. So I might have to make it like patchwork or mix some colors up because I don't have much yarns left. And I only have around one and a half weeks before I leave for college. So yeah, I just have to speed everything up because I know I couldn't be doing this anymore in my boarding house. I'm going to be so busy with college and just, yeah, no more time for me. By the way, I'm using this, I'm sorry, because it's like really cold in here. I'm in my room and it's been raining since, I don't know, like four hours nonstop. And the weather is just crazy awful these days. I went outside, I met like four different people and they all say they're not feeling so well. So I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm not sure if I am. I'm kind of, yeah, not feeling it. So I'll see you guys again really soon. Actually, no, just watch me do this in time lapse. I think I have enough for my waist. Why do I keep saying waist? I have enough length for my wrist and I'm going to keep on doing the rest. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, good night. Hey guys, I have an update. So, I'm just going to put this somewhere. Um, here's the uh, red one that I made. I don't know what color this is actually, it's like wine-ish, red, purple, but yeah, I've made this far and I don't know, I feel like it's too chunky and too balloony. And I also have second thoughts on using this color because I don't think this color goes with anything else except for white and black. So I'm like just recalculating that. So I started making the white part of it. Uh, at first, I thought of making it two colors, so I wanted it to be uh, either red and white or red and pink. So it's going to be... I don't know, I'm going to try and find a picture that looks similar to what I'm thinking of and put it right here because I cannot explain anything right now. I am horrible with words and sentences, just I'm sorry for that. Anyways, I made this leaf less balloony. It's not really visible yet, but yeah, it's not as balloony as the previous one. So 
I haven't really decided what I want to make so I just I will just continue with this white part and if I do want to continue with the red and white half and half cardigan then it's okay and if, if not then I could just make a plain white cardigan because that goes with every outfit so yeah either ways I need to get this white sleeve done and yeah I'll see you guys later Excuses anymore, so I go away. And you can blame all of the pain on me. And you can place all of my pictures on your wall. Forget all the days. Don't even remember me at all. Okay guys, so I've decided that I, it's kind of late in the video to decide what to make, but um, I've decided that I want to make a polar cardigan and this is how uh, the progress of my arms, my arms, my um, sleeves, okay. Uh, I, I haven't really connected yet, I just used some pins to connect it. Well, this is how it looks. And I really want to make it cut off in the arm, so if you see a normal cardigan, it's like a cardigan and then it's going to end here, squared. But for this polaroid cardigan, it's more like a an arm sleeves, an arm cardigan only, not like a full body cardigan. So it's going to cut off here, but I still don't know how to make that because I couldn't find any tutorial on this on the internet or YouTube or every platform possible. So I'll have to work on my imagination and make it a reality <laughs> or draw it. But I'm not a really good drawer, so I don't think that's going to help. But yeah, that's the update so far. I'm still going to continue making the arms because I wanted to end here before I connected with the back part. I know what I said doesn't make sense right now because I don't really know how exactly to make it. I'm going to put a reference picture over here so that you know like you have an idea of what I'm going to make. It's not going to end up like this because it's impossible. This is like factory made, but yeah, hopefully it's going to be close enough. Okay, I'll see you guys when my idea is actually working. Bye. Hey guys, I am back and I have finished uh, one of my sleeves. I continued the one that I made yesterday and it's actually done. I just have to combine it together. I'm using pins still, so yeah. But I'm gonna show you before I combine it, so. This is how, <laughs> okay. This is how I made it. I made it this long because I want the sleeves to end in my shoulder and later on, this is how it's going to look. And then I'm going to make one more on the other side. And that's all I want to appear in the front part. So I don't want it to have like a very chunky cover. Oh my god, it's really hard to explain. I have like put the words in my head before I filmed this, but I still can't get it out. Basically, this is what you're going to see later on in the front part in both arms. And then that's it. So it just feels like you're wearing two sleeve less no two unattached sleeves when it is actually attached in the back if that makes sense but yeah i'm still in the middle of editing my black lace top video right here and i don't really like how the video turned out because it's, it was really short and i wanted to make another project in that video so i was going to make two different tops for one video but I can't, I just can't find the idea for another simple top, but if I made it too complicated, then the video will be like so long. So I literally don't know what to do because it's, yeah, I don't know. It's probably going to be just like a 12 minute video, unlike my usual videos, but I'll have to settle with it because ju there's just nothing else I could make. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say. 
I'm going to try and motivate myself to edit this, but if I can, then I'm just going to continue sewing this together and show you guys the finished, uh, the finished sleeve. Okay. Okay, I decided to just continue sewing this. I have no motivation to edit. And right now I have two options. I could either make a single crochet or just sew it together with needles, with darning needles. And I I'm going to go with the second option because I feel like that's going to be a little bit more neat and seamless. So yeah, I'm going for that one. Hey guys, I'm in my new boarding house now and um, if you want to see the whole moving in process, you can watch the video over here. Where's the eye? Over there. And I'm not feeling so great right now. You can probably tell by my sound. But I really want to finish the bolero cardigan, so I'm going to try and make the back part of it. Even though I actually have like no idea on how to make it, uh, my plan is just to make a rectangle that fits like my back part. And then later on I'm going to sew in the sides and hopefully it'll turn it'll turn out great. Okay. I'm just going to um I'm going to just start right now. I'm not going to like finish it or anything because I'm going to leave because I have a class pretty soon. So yeah, I'm just going to start making the base chain and then I'm going to continue it later, probably at night. And yeah. So about college, um, when I first got my schedule, like the classes, I really thought it's going to be much easier this, this semester than the last one because I have an off day on Friday today. And like the classes are less, I don't know, I feel like it's just a better schedule but then when I'm really going into it like the classes I feel like I just don't understand anything I don't know if it's just like a first week problem or it's going to be like this for the rest of the semester but hopefully it's not because I really don't want to mess this up I want to keep my grades up and still manage YouTube that was my goal in the first in the beginning of this year so yeah, I really want to make that happen. Okay. I don't know how long I should made it. Hey guys, it's been a while. Maybe not for you, but for me it is. So, uh, This is how much I've made for the back. And I know this is like still so little. Uh, compared to like this. I have to make until the top so that I can connect it and then connect it to the other side as well and then hopefully it'll turn out well because I'm still because I'm still trying this out I don't know the exact patterns and I think I've said that I don't know how many times this is what happens when I uh, leave this project for too long so I feel like I haven't said uh, what I want to say and then later on when I edit I literally repeat everything, so yeah, to editing me, I am so sorry, you have to do a lot of like cutting and trimming, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to do this for, I don't know, I have a lot of time today, so I'm going to do this while I can, because next week, there will be no time, trust me, like, college is killing me. Trying to figure this out on my 
some ribbing so that I can at least make it longer and I hope this can stay better in my shoulders because this is not like this is this is no and it okay let me take you through the whole process of making the ribbing This is how the back looks. I'm going to show you a preview as usual, but I just, I don't know. I really love the model and if I could, I might make another one with a different color and a smaller size for the back because the back is a little bit too long for this one. That's why it didn't stay on my shoulders. So, I don't know. If you guys want a tutorial for this one, you can comment down below because I don't think anyone made this before. Or maybe someone did but didn't make a tutorial because I was struggling to find a tutorial for this one. So, yes. If you guys want it, comment down below and I might make it, but not right now. I'm going to wait until I have another college break to make it. So, basically, when I'm back home. And yeah, I love how this looks. It's just, it's not, um, what is the word? It is comfy, but really unnecessary for the look. Like this is not going to warm me up or anything because, yeah. So I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.